What? <laughs> Nothing. It's pretty in a pretty inappropriate. Well, now you have to tell me. It's just that I find it super sexy when you stutter. This was one of the conversations, one of the interactions that I've had of many of girls telling me that stuttering is cute, stuttering is attractive, stuttering is hot, stuttering is sexy. And I'm going to break down in this video the psychology behind why this is so and what makes it sexy, what makes it attractive, so you can use that in your next conversation. So you can expose more of that cuteness, more of the sexiness of the stutter in your next conversation so that you can just be the most attractive, sexy, authentic version of yourself. I first want to make clear that pushing through blocks is not sexy. Struggling and pushing and forcing out words is not sexy. That is anxiety filled. That is uncomfortable. That's a reason for a girl to be like, oh my God, like stay, stay away from me. You make me feel uncomfortable is if you are not comfortable with yourself. And I want to make that clear that the forcing, that the pushing, that the resistance to stutter is not sexy, but the owning that you stutter the not resisting the stutter. That is what is sexy. That is what is so fucking attractive. And there's two main reasons why. And if you're not at that stage yet, if you're not at that stage where you own your stutter and you're able to stutter without resistance, without embarrassment, without shame, if you're not there yet, that's okay. That's what everyone's on the journey to, to get. That's why everyone's watching this video. How many views you see it has. They're all like that. We're all like that. But it, when it comes to a point where in your journey, where you no longer resist your stutter, you no longer need to hide it or feel ashamed of it. And that's when so much magic happens. And if you're not there yet, then you can click the closest link down below in my description and you can book a free one on one call with me. We'll dive into your situation and we'll see what can we do to get you to a point where you're completely confident to stutter, meaning you will stutter significantly less and just be able to express yourself completely fully and authentically and vulnerably to your fullest extent. So now there's two main reasons why stuttering is cute and why stuttering is attractive if you own it the first reason is that it shows polarity polarity is very interesting polarity is very interesting i was told this one time is like it's it's funny it's funny when the ugly person in the group like for example, this is something that isn't um, does doesn't show any polarity. If you have a group of friends who there's a bunch of attractive people, attractive, a bunch of let's just say supermodels, and then there's one uglier person, maybe out of shape, maybe not the best haircut, just like an uglier person. If a girl walks up to the group and is like, hi guys, I wanna say hi to you. And the most attractive person in that group says, she came up to this group to say hi to me. Like that shit's not funny. That's not funny. Cause the polarity in that 
there's no polarity. Most likely, there's a good chance she did do that. There's a good chance. That, that would make logical sense why she would do that. But what would be funny and what would show polarity is if the ugly guy in the group, for a lack of better words, after the girl left was like, guys, you see that girl? She came up to speak to me. Or I caught her eye. Or something like that. That shows polarity. That shows like a level of humor because you can see the polarity that it's highly unlikely that, that he's the person that caught the eye of that girl that made her come. But that's funny and that's attractive to be able to um, have that sense about you, that, pol that polarity that you can say that. And you can create polarity in what you're saying and what everything else is going on. And that's attractive. But if that very attractive guy said that that would be unattractive that'd be cockiness that would be having a big ego that would be just stating the obvious that isn't funny so when it comes to your stutter and how this can show polarity is that if you are cool with your stutter and if it doesn't if you're not resisting your stutter this means you have a very very strong sense of self-worth and you have a strong sense of self. You know who you are, and it doesn't make you uncomfortable to be yourself. And even though we, not, we may not view it as polarity, if we stutter, we just view it as this is us. If a person doesn't know us that well, and they meet, say it's a first date, and you meet, and they see she just gets this sense that you have a very strong a very healthy sense uh, self-esteem a very strong sense of self and that's super attractive but what can also happen is you may come across as too perfect this this guy is just too perfect i don't see any flaws in him because you've done so much work you've developed your you have developed yourself to, so much that he's too perfect or he's too confident, not too confident, but he's just like, he's so perfect. Is there anything wrong with him? If you have developed yourself to a sense of not caring if you stutter or not, you will get, you will get that. You'll get people being like, do you have any issues? You're cool with everything. If you're then able to show your stutter and you you are just in the conversation and there's t t t t times where you, you, you may s s s stutter like that. That in the girl's eyes shows polarity. It's not saying that you're less than, you're, you're not good or whatever. That's not the polarity. The polarity is most people view that as something to that isn't good. Most, most people, when they think of a stutter, oh, it's something to fix. Oh, it's something that he needs to work on. But if you are able to stutter openly and you're this very cool, uh, very cool, confident person and you stutter, even though you're cool and confident about it, it still shows polarity. One side is like how fucking amazing person you are and how confident you are and that sense of confidence a lot of people don't match up with stut with stuttering but you still can stutter even when you're confident and that creates a huge sense of interest in the girl that creates a huge sense of wonder and that every time that you stutter it shows more polarity it's kind of like the ver the a guy with no emotions who's just a strong guy the stoic guy who doesn't show his emotions but with the one girl, he sheds a tear and he cries and he opens up to her. This girl is going to feel so special because with everybody else, he's a strong guy, but shows polarity, shows that, shows that he, he can get soft with her.
And that is like, that's what melts the girl's heart. And it's the same thing with stuttering. If you're this confident person and you still stutter, it's so fucking attractive. It's so interesting. They just want to di dissect you. They want to understand how you work. And it's, every time you do it, it just draws them in more. And I'm going to cover the second point extremely quickly because that took a long time, but I loved it. The second point is it's just so unique. If you look at the people that consistently have the most attractive people, the most attractive girls in their life, it's the most unique people. It's the people that are different. It's the fucking, it's the musicians. It's the artists. It's the 1% of people. It's the people who are just different from the average normal human beings, the average interactions. You show up differently. And that's why stuttering can be such a fucking blessing is because if you own this shit again and you show up differently because how often in a conversation is a person going to hear someone say, hi, it's n n n n nice to meet you. Never. They're never going to hear that. And if you own that, just like a musician owns his fucking wave of emotions and sings about it just like an artist owns that shit too if you own your stutter if you say it's okay this is me and i express all of me fully every time i speak to somebody then it's going to be so interesting again they're going to want to dissect you and it's just so fucking attractive and these are the two main reasons in the past i've been told dozens of times that my stuttering is cute stuttering is sexy my stutter is attractive and i truly believe it's a, a your stutter can be a hack for amazing connections and meeting amazing people in your life if you learn to own it so again if you're at a spot where you're still ashamed of your stutter you still want to hide your stutter you're still exchanging words you still feel like you're not as good as a person when you are more in a stuttering state than a fluent state then you can look at the closest the closest the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me because what we will do is we'll dissect where you are right now where your sticking points are where you want to go and we can see if working with me would be a good fit for you to completely own yourself to completely own everything about you and the the amazing thing that happens is you stutter a thousand times less when you own yourself and you own your values, you own everything about you and there's no reason to have anxiety, fear or doubt. You stutter a thousand times less, but the few times that you do stutter, it's going to be so fucking attractive. So if you're interested in that, book that free call, first link down below in the description and I'll be talking to you soon. I love you.